see the comments. They come in on the. Yes, yeah, so we're going to switch back to the here, and it should, sh yeah, start showing. Excellent up connection. Here. It'll okay. pop up in a second. Okay. So did we already press live on the? Yeah, we're live. Oh, so we're, we're live. live now. It's Whoa. just happened. It's yeah, this will pop up in a second. It's going to show our faces. There we are. Yeah, okay. It's a real thing, and it's happening. Well, guys, welcome to the uh, welcome to the Tokyo Lens live stream. I am here with Dragon and <laughs> Chris Borad. From abroad in Japan. Abroad in Japan. Abroad in a pan. Abroad in a pan, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, we thought that today might be nice. We're, we're live. Should we say where we are? I think people might know where we are. We're in Beppe, we're in Dogen's. What's the name of your house? What's house the name of the street? In <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. won't go into we that. Share, you want to share the address there. with everybody? So, yeah, and uh, we, Chris, uh, what, what have we been up to for the past while? I might touch on that a little bit. They're building later. a super weapon, the likes of which the world has never seen. <laughs> <laughs> or, they are working on Journey Across Japan 3, The Lost Islands, coming soon to a YouTube near ye. Uh, yes, we've just been filming with Joey Natsuki. Ian and Norm, um, <laughs> yeah, this is finished. The afterthought. And there'll be a nice, big, exciting trailer with that coming out in the next few weeks. So keep an eye out. It's going to be good. It has been so exciting, and that's pretty much all that we're going to say mm. about it. But it has been some time since neither Chris nor I have had a chance to, mm. to see Dogen. Two and a half years for me. Yeah. yeah. At yeah. least a year and a half for me. Was it? Really? Yeah, yeah. it was probably the end of 2019, somewhere around like October I or something. I guess that's right, yeah, because it was before all this. So yeah. yeah. So the, the studio is looking good, by the way. I love what you've done with it. Appreciate so it. You can actually yeah. see a lot more of it in the stream because it's... It's super wide. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So we figured we'd take a little time, get caught up with Dogen, and maybe share a little bit about what the 30-plus years of experience living in Japan brings to the table. How long have you been in Japan? Uh, I, I've lost count of the years. How long have you been in Japan? Uh, about 11 years. Nine years. So Nine that's, years. that's 20. So you've okay. got 10, right? I've got at least 10. I moved in 2007. So I'm top weeb. <laughs> wow. And how long have you been living in Beppu? Uh, I, I can't remember the exact number, but I think it's between seven and eight years. Okay. Now, Dogen, your eyes are closest to the chat, so... I can't read, keep, yeah, I can't read yeah, the comments. It's, it's, all, it's all very far away, so make sure that we don't miss any super chats or anything like that. If oh, they yeah. pop in, Greetings let from us Germany. Know. Good evening from there snowy Colorado. That's much bigger. Chris has one shirt. How dare you? One, How dare well, they you? said one good shirt, so... Yeah, no, all as well. Shirt. One yeah. shirt. Well, and then one good yeah, shirt. Yeah, one good shirt. Hey, Norm, seen any weird centipede creepy crawlies lately? Hey, wait a minute. How did did we talk about that? I didn't. Who talked about it? Uh, maybe we did on a, the Abroad Japan podcast with Jamie uh, yesterday. Ah, okay. Yeah, that was terrifying. So, curb. if you don't know what this is about, we happen to be in a cave, and uh, they're called what is it? Gezi Gezi. Gezi Gezi. I think so. Yeah, Gezi Gezi. And they are just these terrifying centipede-looking things, and uh, Gezi Gezi. I wonder what the the English name for it is. Gejo Geji is Fucking what I just typed in. Fucking nightmare creature. They're absolute nightmares. Show, also, show the viewers. if you are, oh, uh, God, no. <laughs> if you're, if you're oh, new God. to Chris, a bit of a language advisory on this stream. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't know if, how well you're gonna be able to see that, but this is what oh. they look like, and they're just. This they is are, a creature we saw in a tunnel about four or five days ago. And they, it's gonna have to be closer than that. Go on, show them. No, oh, no, no, I got it. Ball. I got it right in there. You can, you can see it. I don't want to see it. They're oh, just. God. I got a oh. super chat. Thank you, Pedro. Left in there with a five dollar super chat. Thank you so much, Pedro. Saying, let's get things started. Then have a great day, guys. Much respect from Brazil and oh, Sammy P forty six, in there. Hi, Sammy. I love those little waving stamp things. Dogen does a lot of streaming as well. Usually on the other platform, right? The purple platform. Traitor. You're on Twitch? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, <laughs> well, typically I do like my Patreon exclusive live streams about Plugging once, his or, on once your, or on your show, <laughs> <laughs> Once or twice a month. Shocking. But I actually don't do a lot of, I did like my first 
stream on Twitch for like the first time in if you exclude the the Black Magic stream that I did mm. like six months ago, that was like my first that was like already six months. proper proper stream on Twitch in mm. like two years probably actually. Wow. Okay. So I, I actually scratch that. Yeah. Okay. You know what? There are might be a few people. Also, Molly Newcomb. Uh, hey, Norm. Glad to join you tonight. You rock. Out. Thank you, Molly. Thanks you for always away. being a part of it. Um, for anybody who, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> might not know either of you, which would be weird. Um, but if you don't, if you don't, I guess we will have little introductions. Um, let's let's start with Chris. Save the best for last. Sorry, we are <laughs> um, guests. In well, first of all, I'm I'm wearing sunglasses because I can't see. These are prescription glasses, and I can't see the comments if I don't wear them. <laughs> it's all blurry. It's not, just it's not because cool. I'm wanting to be cool like Casey Neistat or Jack Nicholson. <laughs> this is this is how I roll. But uh, I'm drinking cold brew coffee. That's coffee that's been filtered very slowly over a period of hours. And uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm 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 abroad in Japan, in it. So abroad in Japan, if you don't know, makes really good video content from around Japan. Everything from documentaries to food to travel adventure, everything in between. Channels for both are linked below if you're new. Um, also, also known Carlos. as Dave. Yes, Dave. Or in Chris Bullrad. Uh, to get the name wrong. Carlos saying cheers from Chile. Thank you so much, Carlos. And JZM, which I'm never, never, ever, ever sure if I'm saying that right, says a greeting from Norm's Patreon crew. Hey, great to see the three of you together today. Thank you. You know what? Dogen was actually one of the biggest pushes for me to even start the Patreon community. He, was, he I think you said it is a much more positive space. It's a space where you can just be you, put out the content you want, connect with people and have a lot more fun. And he pushed and pushed. And I think it was like a year. You're like, why haven't you started yet? Just do it. Just do it. Yeah, I think the main thing that I wanted to push you to do is that, I don't know how much of this I can say, but <laughs> you're like a qualified shamisen player. Mm. And I thought there was something that could be some kind of exclusive content that you could put mm. up on there related to that. Because... How many other like you know professionally trained shamisen, non-Japanese people are there that can like you know explain things in English? And I, th I thought there was certainly an opportunity. We actually ended up starting entirely separate shamisen <coughs> lessons. Oh yeah, yeah, now yeah, 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 yeah. With uh, the shamisen girls that I work with, but the the community's just become an amazing space. So thank you for pushing me to do that. Yeah, and my if you pleasure. Don't know Dogen. I think talking about Patreon is a is a good way to to plug you in there. Do you want to give a bit of an introduction to yourself? Um, yeah. So I try to do comedic content in Japanese on YouTube and Twitter, and then I also teach. Japanese, mostly pronunciation and like pitch accent, um, mm. on on my Patreon. So, yeah. So, if you are new to either, please subscribe so to you, both. You've plugged your Patreons. Why can't I plug mine? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I've got a Patreon. It's good. <laughs> Let's look at the comments. Open button share. You look like Yakuza. How dare you? <laughs> uh, good evening from Ottawa. What's Ottawa like? You've been there. Yeah, it's nice. It's it's. One European to ten, almost. I, I give it a good solid eight. Hey, don't get exposing the wide angle lens. He he he. Says oh, hold up. So this is Norm's camera. Actually. Yeah, actually streaming off my camera with a super super wide lens. It's so. very wide. Was it twelve millimeters? It's twelve millimeters of in glory. full frame. Jesus. So. Chris looks like a bodyguard. Norm's bodyguard. Fantastic. <laughs> Excellent. Chris is a hangover. <laughs> <Dang. laughs> we did drink a little bit last night, didn't we? Yeah, we had a Dogen a few had sips. some vodka. Didn't you, Dogen? Yeah, Enjoy I think the vodka? I, I think... He's we... forgotten. He drank so much he's already <laughs> forgotten. No, I just mashed whatever you had, basically, Moscow the whole meal. night. Yeah. yeah. Did you like Moscow Mule? Yeah, it was good. Ginger ale, plus lime, plus vodka. Ginger ale? Amazing. Yeah. Ginger beer. Ginger beer. <laughs> Ginger beer, oh boy! <laughs> Uh, and Donald Beatty in there with a two dollar super chat. Thank you very much. Keep how many up. how many GBs was the raw twelve K film norm? Uh I I think the entire thing was just shy of a terabyte. Right. Um, tell him how long it took to export again. What you told me last night. Okay, so if you're new to this entire thing, Chris and I have been joshing each other online with like four K, six K, eight K, twelve K, and it, the entire thing was a joke. None of it was was serious. We actually did film stuff in eight K and twelve K, but it was just for fun. To, you always gotta, as a creator, want to push yourself to use new things and try new stuff. And <clears throat> the 
Blackmagic 12K shoots in RAW, and I try to export it on Premiere Pro, and every 15 seconds of RAW footage exported to 8K was taking about two to two and a half hours. So hmm. I actually had to learn to use DaVinci Resolve Bloody to up. edit that video and put it together. But again, the entire goal was just to learn how to use something new, and I got Speed to do that. So. 12K. Mm. I had a good time with it. It was a lot of fun. This so. episode of uh, Takeo Lens Live is brought to you by Tic Tacs. The sweets, really the, not. the fresh mint. What's that? This say is there? the least the smooth thing you've ever Read said. Read the French. Mint fra- fraîcheur? I don't know. Can't you Mint speak French? French? I thought all Canadians had to be bilingual. <laughs> that's, that's, profiling. that's racial profiling <laughs> right there. No, I know all Canadians have to learn French. Yeah, right? we we study it in school. So, so you don't know what Tic Tacs is in French. Le Tic Tac? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all so, right. Excellent. So, okay, we, uh, we talked at the beginning, and between the three of us, we have 30 plus years of experience in Japan. So, well, I guess we can turn this into a little bit of a chat, a little bit of a QA. Um, I, I'd love to hear, okay, so Chris, you started with the JET program, was it? Yes, which you went on, right, Dogen? Yeah, and before that, I did a study abroad for a year in Tokyo. And right. I also majored in Japanese in university, so. Okay. All right, all right. Bragging. Actually, there's one I, question. I, <laughs> just trying to. Just trying to. I, I did nothing of conceivable value compared to that. But we both went on the jet program. Okay. And you ended up here in Beppu. Uh, well, I ended up in Oita, a different part Oita. of Oita, but yeah. And I ended up in uh, Tohoku. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was on for three years. You were on for how many years? I did three years as well. Three years before you got out. Yeah. Got a better job. No. <laughs> I actually, I, I did. I, I tried to pursue writing. Um, I was writing a, a, a bum, like, visa hopping between uh, South Korea and Japan for, like, almost a year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I got a worse job as a juku no sensei. Ah, uh, right. Cram so, school. Yeah. Well, yeah, cram school that, um, well, I mean, like, obviously the JET program, it's got the conditions, relatively speaking, are, are quite good, especially for... Um, people that have just graduated from university, mm, mm. and if especially if you want to like you know go to Japan, the salary's not bad. You don't have to. Typically speaking, the work hours are, are pretty good as well. But uh, yeah, it was more difficult to work in the uh, the juku. Mm, I can imagine. <laughs> I was expected to to do a lot more, and yeah, after that I, I well I did about a year of that, then I worked at APU for about uh, five years, and then. I kind of transitioned to YouTube during that time. Now you're a full-time YouTuber. Now Patreon, I'm a full-time G. Patreon. A f- yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a full-time Teaching Patreon. Japanese. So. Yeah. Would you ever go back and be a teacher? No. Um, well, <gasps> not an English teacher, no. No. I didn't no. like teaching no, English. No, me neither. I actually, um, I much prefer creating Japanese content. It's just that my YouTube channel isn't big enough for me to make the full-time switch to just Japanese comedic mm. content. So I kind of supplement that with the uh, the Patreon side of things, which I think is useful for the people that are you know want to learn that part of Japanese. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. What about you? Why are you here? Why am I? Do you believe him? What's your um, favorite color? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pause for a second and say thank you to Mary Waters, who's saying hello, news member of the Patreon crew, epicness. Happy to have you. And I came, lived here once, ended up leaving, came back almost entirely for shamisen. Uh, I had heard the Yoshida Brothers CD and decided I have to I have to go back to Japan. Came back to Japan. Long story short, ended up chasing the goal of becoming the apprentice of the Yoshida Brothers. Uh, spent two two and a half years, got it, and my life ever since then has completely revolved around the Tsugaru Shamisen. If you don't know what it is, there's plenty of videos on the channel. It's a three string Japanese instrument, often likened to like a lute or a banjo or anything like that, but it's it's I, I I won't go any deeper than that because I could go on forever about shamisen. But everything from the the content that I create here on YouTube started with shamisen stuff. I work with shamisen players. I still work with the Yoshida Brothers regularly, and my entire life revolves around that now. So yeah, I've done very well. It's it's a lot you of fun. You be proud. Not only that, you get to sit in between Dogen and. <laughs> Here we go. From a brown in Japan. <laughs> From a brown in Japan. I brought in a pan. And Hugh, I love, <laughs> I, I almost said it. I almost said it. What's Hugh that? Janus. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Says, Kia Ora from New Zealand. Love your work, gents. Chris, you look like a speed dealer. <laughs> Those shades. Sorry, I went for it. You look like a speed dealer. I like that. Again, the reason I'm wearing the glasses is I can't read the comments without them. These are like <laughs> prescription glasses. And also my eyes are a bit messed up because I got up a lot earlier today than I'd, uh, than I'd normally like. Yeah. Like I've done a week, to be, to be fair. <laughs> so my trip around Kyushu. It, it was a long week. It was a long, it, zero, zero sleep. So. I have a question. What's the worst thing about Japan? Uh, is that a real? It's a real question. Okay, I'm going to deal with Henry here first. <laughs> love all three of you and love seeing the collabs. Hope y'all are having a great week. Have you ever, have any of you, I literally just used the word y'all. Have uh, any of I you use used it. the word y'all? Do you, have you, do you use the word y'all? It doesn't really work in British, no, does it? No, it doesn't. How would you say, Same as. can you work that into a, a sentence in British? I'm having fun with y'all. <laughs> it sounds <laughs> terrible. Nothing about that. I'm having good. a lot of fun with y'all. Uh, yeah, it's, it doesn't work, does it? There are some words you just can't do in British. No. Like, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you say ass- asshole? Asshole. You're an asshole. Whereas in British, like, you're an asshole. It doesn't really work, does it? You just sound like a man we down the pub. It. You're yeah. a real asshole, am I? Um, take a lens. Go on a side quest talking about Shamisen. Mm. He got up before noon. How dare you? Um, yeah. What's the, the, what's the worst thing about Japan, Norm? Come on. The this worst. is the live stream. 30 years living in Japan. I want to know what's the worst thing about living Honestly, in Japan. Honestly, if I had to choose a, a like real legitimate worst, it may, it's probably not the worst, but it's the first thing that comes to my mind, especially living in the core of Tokyo, is politician season. When those trucks with the blaring speakers uh, are driving about, yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. I think Dogan just, and I have talked about this before. I can't remember where. I remember we talked about like, the whole politician. Yeah. What do they shout at the, at the windows of the trucks? They're I like, made a video about it. Vote for Satoshi. Vote for Satoshi. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there, there are plenty of... Yeah. In the end, I'm a very, very strong believer in Japan being a country like any other country. So it doesn't matter where you are. There's going to be stuff that sucks. The, you know, whatever. Like you, you, you choose to live here. You make a life of it. So the trucks are very annoying. They are. They're very loud. Those or those. Uh, what is it? Haihin kaishusha. Is that what they're called? The kai. I, the, the, they drive oh, they around collect. and they collect the, the. We'll collect your used radios, VCRs, TVs. It's just so loud. I have a thing with noise. That's that's it. How about you? Yeah, it's probably a, a top contender. That and the work culture. Work, mm. work, 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 work. There's no free time. Yeah. There's no delineating line between work and free time. Mm. Your job is your life. Yeah. And that's that. So How did we end up on this? Be careful. Thing? If you're working for a Japanese company, don't. Uh, we got one. How old are you? How old are you, Norm? I am 35. How old uh, are you, Chris? I am 31 in that's three or four hours. days. What? Wait, what day is it? So oh, 20th. shit, it's my birthday tomorrow. Yeah, yeah it's tomorrow. Oh, shit. Can we sing happy birthday to Chris? Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> can I, like, seem so happy can we drop a sick beat if you do it? I've got this app on my phone, right, which you can make music on, right? Ha, ha, happy birthday. <laughs> you got to turn that off. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say happy birthday with that. That was going to be amazing. <laughs> Although I think you just... <laughs> Ended your career. <laughs> Happy birthday. It's, it's a, like a rap down. It's a brand new career. Sort right of there. rap. Of like taking 50 off. 50 year old men in Surrey in London. On the outskirts uh, of London. The one I missed, I missed one super oh. chat up there. Uh, from David saying, any of you plan on flying to your home country ASAP to see family when travel bans are lifted? I don't remember when the, like, like what? End of 2019 is the last time I Would, saw my family. Yeah. I'd when, love to go back, but. Yeah. I probably won't be jumping on the first plane. I don't. Is it? Can we get back in as a foreigner? Right now, well, they're talking about like when everything's lifted, oh. when, when the travel bans are lifted. In if the it's safe, imaginary future. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. When's the last time you went back to visit? Well, let's see. Again, it was a wedding. Uh, probably three years ago, ish. Hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it was before my kids were born, so three and a half years ago. It was like a month before my kids were born. Do you miss the U.S.? <clears throat> Elements of the U.S. In and Out Burger? No. I had Chuck E. Cheese. They don't have Chuck either of those from where, where <laughs> I'm from. Do you know what it is? I don't know what Chuck E. Cheese is. <laughs> I don't think so. What, yeah, what do you miss about the U.S. the most? Mm. 
there are elements about kind of just the general like relaxed nature of mm. everything. Like, I remember the first time that I went back. I think I told this story with Mr. Yabatan as well the last time I, I did a live stream. But when you go into like a Japanese convenience store or any store, mm. really, you know, it's it, there's a very very clear distinction between you as the customer and you know the employees, and you know it's immediately. Irashimase with, you know, like the the same kimatta kimari monku. So mm. it's like the same thing, very, not mechanical, but it's, you know, Decent service everything quality. is very Consistent structured. Service quality, quality, right? Yeah. Um, but there's also kind of, uh, what would you say, an element of distance there. Mm, mm. So it's difficult, you know, to have like a, what would you say, like a light conversation with like, the guy at the grocery store who, who yeah no I missed that I, when I, I remember the first time I came to Japan and I started working on Jet mm-hmm. I didn't go back to the UK for two and a half years and then when I went back I was like reverse culture shock mm-hmm. and that yeah, was yeah. one of the things yeah. that culture shocked me the most was that you can talk to the people at the shop and I was yeah. like and I, I got to the point that I wouldn't leave them alone and they were like can you just go away because I'm like oh my god wow a salmon I've just bought a salmon and then I'd like engage in conversation, and they'd be like, "Yep, yeah, this is too much now." Yeah, what happens <laughs> in me. Japan? You don't get that, right? It's just mm. yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You buy the thing, you pay the money, and then you fuck off. And uh, yeah, that, I kind of miss that the kind of the humanization of yeah. staff. Yeah, same and thing in restaurants stuff. too, right? At the same yeah. time, I do like the consistent service quality of Japan. Mm. You yeah. know what you're getting. So swings and roundabouts, ups and downs. Mm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just different. Um, but with me, yeah, I. I went into a, a Subway, you know, the, the sandwich mm. store. Uh, I was going back for a friend's wedding, and it was the first time I had been back to the States after, like, three years uh, in Japan. Mm. And I walked in, I opened the door, and the employee at the store was like, hey, how's it going? Nice weather today. And I was like, what do I say? Do I have a conversation <laughs> with, like... <laughs> I, I was not prepared. It was so, that. like, you know, different from, you know, wh- mm, what happens yeah. here. Because like they were they were talking to me and I had to reply but I wasn't prepared to have a conversation. And what did mm. you say in the end? I think I said something like, "Yeah, n- <laughs> <laughs> not bad weather." You know? yeah. <laughs> Smooth. Um, yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna miss these. Uh, so Takita Burrito saying hello from Florida. The abroad in Japan Instagram post of Natsuki going fishing was nothing less than the embodiment of majesty. Natsuki going fishing. I see if yeah. I can find that for those. Oh, that missed it. Yeah, yeah, Mary Water. We went fishing and uh, there we go. Like that. Tap on that, bring it in. There we are. This was Natsuki fishing on the island of Yakushima. It was just uh, just south of Kagoshima. Beautiful it was island. Wonderful in every way. Apart from the weather. Uh, when you realize you're a year older than Chris. It's a sad day, Mary. <laughs> a year older than me. <laughs> And D. Vane Parmer says, hey, guys, uh, have some fried chicken on me. Chris has just been binging it. He loves it. Uh, I hate the politician trucks as well. Almost scared me off the road during my trip in North Japan. How's the filming in South Japan going? How's it, it going? It went very well. It went very well. If you want to hear the expose on Journey Across Japan, the Lost Islands, filming with uh, Joey, Natsuki, Norm, I did talk about it on the Abroad Japan podcast that's uh, out yesterday, and I'll promote it later on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram tonight, so keep an eye out for that. And another one saying, hi from Michigan, looking forward to travel opening again for my first trip to Japan. Happy early birthday, Chris, hey. you handsome devil. What's my present? All of the Super Chat revenue. <laughs> Happy birthday today. Mighty right. fried chicken. Is that it? Family, it's, it's like your I'm never eating fried chicken again after what I did in my last video. <laughs> Actually, you know what? This whole trip, not even one. I haven't seen you eat one fried chicken this entire trip. Maybe I, some, I missed it. I've eaten some karaage kun. You guys had okay. some fried chicken Lawson's. last night, though. Yeah, that uh, don't. God, Dagan, what are you doing to me? You're ruining the, the whole stream. <laughs> leaking, <laughs> leaking the secret. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, a question earlier that I think between the three of us, because we all have very different approaches, I think we could bring a little bit to the table on, which was any advice for becoming a creator in Japan? And I think all of us have taken very, very different. My, my response is always going to be the exact same every single time, which is 
start before you come. Just get into the habit of creating content consistently oh, around hey, guys, mundane things. It doesn't need to be some super... People feel like you need to create this really interesting travel content and all these... You need to learn how to create content out of cleaning out your closet or packing a bag and telling a story and making that interesting. So start now. Start before you come to Japan. And more than anything, learn to be consistent. Because if you can't stick with it when it's boring, you're not going to be able to... What, what are you smiling about? <laughs> what are you smiling about? The, the sentence you said, you need to make interesting content about packing your bag. Yeah. I want to do that. I've never done that. How would you make that interesting? Well, exactly. Like, that's the challenge. There's like get an used to the Yeah. You get genre get, on YouTube. Like, what's in my bag? Yeah. Like, super... I, like, you know... If you can make interesting content in, out of the most mundane, simple parts of your life, and you can stick with that while it's not super exciting and you're not traveling Japan, think about I it. I want to see you back a bag. Okay. In fine. 8K. No, 12K. I'm not packing dude, a I'm bag. I'm not borrowing the 12K. Give us the content we deserve. I fell lens. down the stairs with that camera, by the oh, way. God. Is that why it's gone? No. <laughs> he no. got the 12K <laughs> camera to, to one-up me from 8K, <laughs> and then he dropped it down the stairs, ladies no, and gentlemen. No, I didn't drop it. A $10,000 camera. I fell with it. I fell down with the stairs. it. You fell with it, but it, it's all right. Leg was it's all, okay, it was right? fine. It was in a big, heavy Pelican case. How much is the Black Magic 12K? It monster? is ten thousand dollars for the body itself, but then you're looking at another six hundred for the battery, another at least twelve hundred to three thousand for a good cinema lens. You need an SSD in order to record to. Uh, was so it worth it? It was worth borrowing it. <laughs> It was definitely, I probably, I, I don't have any projects I would shoot that. When on. are we going to get to see you packing a bag in 12K then? It's be oh. raw. Black Magic Cinema Raw. It's not happening. Oh, Let it go. Oh, come on, let's Moving get on. to the comments. All right. Uh, hello from BC. Can't wait to travel uh, for travel to be allowed again so I can go back. Been three times, but I still, uh, but so far, but still much more I want to see. Just, there's so much to explore. We've been through the entire mm. country, and there's we don't run out. So, what would you Absolutely. guys be advice be for if they wanted to start creating content? For example, they're planning to move to Japan. They want to create content. What would your advice be? Just do it. Just do it. Listen to a song you like, and then you'll picture the video in your mind. That works. Over to you, Dagan. <laughs> I don't know. My advice is kind of similar to Norm's, and it's. Mm kind of advice that's I don't know I think for creators at large rather than people that just want to get into Japan related mm. content but I I like to tell people that you should treat your various social media channels like portfolios to share your work rather than public diaries mm. where you share like your thoughts that are unrelated to, to what you do for your content creation. So, um, like Norm, y you're doing, uh, you know, like Shamisen content, among other kinds of content. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, for Norm's situation, uh, I think it would be, you know, it, it's best to only do, make posts, like, on Twitter related to that kind of content rather than, like, every other post, like, one about Shamisen and then one about your thoughts about, I don't know, like the state of affairs in the world and stuff like that. Because um, if people are, come to expect, they, they know that they will always see just the content on like your timeline or on your Instagram or on your YouTube or whatever, mm. they'll come back. Mm. But if, if, they, if they know that it's going to be like half and half, mm. then there's going to be, it's inevitable that there's going to be like a, what would you say, cl clash of uh, opinions yeah. about something. So, uh, yeah, again, I think it's best to treat your social media channels as portfolios rather than open diaries. Mm. Beautiful. I uh, There's a comment here that has me really smiling, and it's this right here. LMAO, Dogen is just sitting here like these idiots and their cameras. <laughs> if you only knew, Dogen uses way more black magic stuff than I have ever even... He's used stuff from Black Magic I haven't even touched. I think probably out of all of us, Dogen might be the most into the tech and the gear. He's the Black Magic King. He is. He the is. Wizard. I'm wizard looking at camera. at least two Black Magic cameras right now, just within 
three black magic items just within eye range. So well, there's one there. There's one there. There's you know, there, the two cameras two up there. There's the four cameras. The, uh, got a comment everywhere. here. Can Dogen teach Chris and Norm a new Japanese word that they don't know? Yeah, she must. Teach us. Um, mighty Dogen. How about uh, Tsundok? Learning new things already. God, I look high in that thumbnail. Oh. <laughs> we, <laughs> thumbnail for this live show. I look like I'm on drugs. Oh, so tonight, K Bucket. That's um, why I'm wearing the glasses. <laughs> That's what I said before posting it. I, I was like, the three of us just like wired out of our minds. Why, well, dear boy? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll come back to that. Have a think don't about an put interesting too much. word, Dogen. Yeah. Have, a, have an interesting think. And. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so there, I don't want to miss those. There we go. So I'm uh, gonna rapid fire through a couple of these Happy birthday, here. Cross. <laughs> Happy birthday, crust. Right. Maybe <laughs> Dogen or Norm can get you cooking lessons so the girls don't roast oh, you again. Oh, I did a video on Tokyo Creative where I had to make chocolates for Aki, Charlotte, and Emma, and it went really well. And my cooking was exceptional, and they love the chocolate. These and that's all things. you need to know about that. We got one from William that says, "I don't know." If anyone has already asked, but what's something that's changed from when you guys first came to Japan and currently? Mm. Keep up the good work. Also, I want to say a hello to, to Gaijin Goomba, who's jumped in the stream as well. I yeah, missed it did. earlier on. Hope you're doing well. Something that's changed. Come back to Japan <laughs> when you can. <laughs> Honestly, just like really tiny thing. I don't see as many pink taxis anymore. Oh, that sad. used to be like a thing, like pink cars and pink taxis. When I got to Japan in 05, were rampant everywhere. It was one of the neatest things when I came to Japan. I was like, look at all these pink cars everywhere. So it's popped into my head. How about yourselves? Um, there's, there's certainly more Japanese people that speak English very, mm. very fluently mm. than when I first came in like 2007, 2008. And... Well, similar to that, there are much more people that are mixed, so mm. like half Japanese, half foreign. Obviously, you know, I, I've got two half Japanese, half American kids, so I added to that a little bit. But I think, you know, like 25, 30 years ago, it was like you see like a white person in Japan that's speaking Japanese. It's like, whoa, you're one in a million. <laughs> but now it's like you're probably like the millionth person in that category that mm. the Japanese people around mm. you have seen. Well, I think the number of foreign residents in Japan has steadily gone up over the last yeah. 10, 15 yeah. years. Japan's mm. opened up a bit more, particularly to other uh, Asian countries in Southeast Asia. Mm -hmm. um, I, I feel like Japan is a lot more foreigner friendly in terms of English. Like, as you travel around the country, you'll see a lot more English signs. Yeah. Uh, Tokyo is really cleaned up. Like Areas like Shinjuku and Kabukicho used to be really dark and intimidating and grimy and they're kind of sterilized and clean and tourist friendly now. Yeah. After a few dodgy bars that you should never go in. Mm. But uh, yeah, I feel very more, very much more foreign friendly for the Olympics that everyone's looking forward to. Oh wait, <laughs> no, nobody no. in Japan don't wants the Olympics. Do it. So uh, you got like I don't know three or four super chats maybe. Yeah, I think I uh, got to these. And coming down here, Caleb Hudson saying howdy from Texas. Howdy. Can you say howdy in British? Howdy. <laughs> it's terrible. Howdy, y'all. Yeah, it just doesn't work, is it? Howdy, y'all. If Dogen and Chris had to do an instrument Patreon, what would the instrument be? Clarinet, voice harmonica? Percu voice percussion. <laughs> Etc. I play a little, it, a little bit of piano. You could do it. Go on. <laughs> yeah, okay. good, we should do a duet. <laughs> we should. I think we just did. What would you be? I can play a little piano. Okay. All right. So, Dogen's not, not good enough to piano. teach, though. <laughs> you really only have to stay one lesson ahead of the student. Yeah. <laughs> and Andy Anderson, um, Norm needs his own TED Talk. Love you guys. I've been to Japan three times, moving back permanently next year. Fingers crossed for you. Any advice before actually moving to Japan? I Bring think money. Bring lots of money. All the money. Or a credit card. I didn't bring enough money when I came, and uh, I had to eat. Like bread and bananas for the last for like the first six months of living in Japan. <laughs> Slice of bread, a banana. That was my lunch, breakfast, dinner for six months. Sounds so healthy. Bring money, even if you have to borrow it from a, a close family member. Bring the money. Bring the money. All the money. Dogen, any advice for someone moving to Japan? 
Um, yeah, use TransferWise to transfer money. <laughs> it's all about money, isn't it? It's all about money. <laughs> well, you know, it's just related topic. <laughs> mm. Okay, I would say... Uh, money related. It's not. I would say <laughs> bring, bring deodorant. Bring deodorant. Bring deodorant. What? I've never I've never taken to the Japanese deodorant option. I, I don't like, enjoy I, them. I have like Axe and Lynx. I don't the... like them. I, I, I like the Old Spice stuff. Like the body spray and whatnot, so I always pick that up and bring it back with me. Most of that stuff you can get on just Amazon Japan now. Now you can. Yeah. Even as early as like six months ago, you couldn't. Really? I could, yeah. Hmm. Like I could find one little thing of the the the, the, the spray, mm-hmm. but it was like twenty bucks. Oh yeah. Now it is a I can get a three expensive. pack for yeah. twenty bucks, so it's a lot more worth it. Wow. Uh, love so the co- bring up? money. Use transfer wise. Bring deodorant. The three, the three things you need to bring to Japan. <laughs> yeah. When you move there. I uh, love the content of all three of you working and listening. You guys has helped me deal with the loneliness of work and anxiety. Keep it up. I think that's become a, a big driving factor for a lot of us to just share while people can't come. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. I think we've all kind of ramped up what we're doing. I, so. I think, yeah, there's a degree of responsibility there. Like, that's the whole reason I started Born in Japan, just because I felt like there wasn't the content that I wanted to watch in Japan, about mm. Japan at the time. So hopefully we've filled that void. Mm. Uh, have any of you considered or have you documented your content experience in book form? Well, I've written this book. This is uh, Nihongo Accento. It's about <laughs> how to uh, speak Japanese in the correct, oh the correct accent. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to rapid fire through a couple of these. Uh, Giovanni says, "Will I have trouble finding clothes in Tokyo? I'm 1.95. There are big clothes shops, but you might want to bring a couple things just in case. Uh, they are hard to find." Uh, Nitro1013 with a thank you super chat. Thank you so much for that. Rodrigo in with greetings from Chile. I'm a big fan of your channels. Love studying Japanese language, literature, cinema, aesthetics. Keep up your amazing work. Thank you, thank you, thank you. On the subject of books about Japan, have you thought about writing a book? Because I'm, I'm hoping to write a book one day just sort of mm. talking about my experiences in rural Japan, which you should all definitely buy coming soon. But have you two thought about writing a book about uh, Japan? I know you like writing, Dogen. You're like a writer. Yeah, so when I started doing YouTube, actually, I was actually just performing the scripts that I had written that I was trying to get published <laughs> up until that point. Mm. But... Yeah, I was originally trying to become a writer, and I'd self-published some stuff on, you know, like Amazon and stuff like that. But um, I, it didn't work out for me, so I, I just switched over that content, that same exact script, you know, to, to YouTube instead. And that's what I've been doing ever since. But, yeah, I enjoy the writing element the most. Mm. <clears throat> thought about doing a photo book. That's a yeah. good idea, yeah. Um, Take your lens. Yeah, maybe eventually, you know, it's still early days with the Yoshida brothers. We've only been working together 10 years, but I feel like there only. might be a story there. Only? That's a, cool, that's a third of my life. That's a long time. Yeah, if you think about it, it is a while. <laughs> it is a while. Where's my Yoshida brothers Take Your Lens collab book? Uh, it's, it'll come up right after we fix the monetization on your Fuji video. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and... Uh, what has changed since the world flipped upside down in Japan? What do you think will stick? Uh, I think it's no different from the rest of the world, really. Maybe it is. Masks, I don't know. We're wearing masks a lot more outdoors and things. Yeah, that's no, one of those. Tic-tac Sponsored time. by Tic Tacs, the minty fresh taste. Thank you. Hey, you want me? I'll, yeah, why not? Please give me like six. Holy, they're everywhere. Tic Tacs. Right. <laughs> this, uh, this episode of Take Her Lens is isn't. sponsored by Tic Tacs. It really is not. Um, it any be. plans for you fine gentlemen to visit Sasebo? We drove through Sasebo. We drove through Sasebo. We went to the uh, House Ten Bosch, the mm. Dutch theme park. Incredible place. No. I thought it's going to be tacky, rubbish theme park when it's really well done. Like yeah. the, the buildings are actually made of real bricks. The yeah. windmills are fully operational windmills. I was really impressed, and uh, that will be coming out. A journey across Japan three. Natsuki had the look of wonder in his Natsuki eyes. Natsuki was so happy. Around. I think I've got a photo of him with like a windmill. He was just so Nats- over the For moon. Natsuki, it was like a holiday of a lifetime. And uh, here it is, yeah. Mm. This is Natsuki mm. at House Ten Bosch in Sasebo, about three or four hours from here by car. Biggest theme park in mm. Japan, better than Disneyland. <laughs> take your family, take your cat, take your dog. Amazing place. Beautiful. Made Natsuki's day, that place. This is a good one here. I think a lot of people don't understand how this works. So after all these years, are you guys considered Japanese citizens already? And if so, what are the implications? Can you guys vote? Foreigners cannot vote. 
But also, I think if you get Japanese citizenship, I think you yeah, could. Yeah. But you also Japan doesn't allow dual citizenship, so you'd have to renounce whatever citizenship that you have. Uh, I oh. have what's called permanent residence, so I don't need a visa anymore. I just can. I still can't vote though. Uh, but everything else, I think, other than voting, I can do anything else in Japan. Mm. Um, yeah. Nice one. I think also the like I'm I'm fine to to share that. I don't know if if you guys had this experience, but when I first came to Japan in like 05, 07, at that time I was doing a, a commercial for uh, Asimo Honda's oh, wow. robot thing, yeah. and uh, one of the guys there I was like, yeah, so what do you do about like visas in Japan? And he snapped up right away and he's like, don't ask people that question. He's like, asking somebody what visa you want or how did you get your visa is one of the most prying, rude questions you can ask someone. And I don't know if that's true, and I've never asked anybody since, and it stuck with me. If somebody asks you about your visa status... So that was another find, foreigner? That was another foreigner on this commercial. Do you find that to be an intrusive question? So I did something no. shady with Asimo. Yeah. Their visa. <laughs> Do you know my problem with Asimo the robot? It's the super advanced, amazing robot that can walk upstairs, open cans, and kick a football. And they've just done nothing with it. Just nothing. I've seen Asimo with my own eyes. It's trippy as fuck when it comes out running. We're it in kicks a, a football, together. it opens a jar, and you're like, yes, what's going to happen next with Asimo? And Honda's like, yeah, we cut the funding. It's, we're, not, we're not doing anything with it. I probably shouldn't show it in the stream otherwise. There, if you search like Honda Asimo Diner, oh, there was a commercial it. where, yeah, I got paid a small bucket of money to hand Asimo a tray or take a tray from Asimo and go, thank you. Wow. And that's it. That's amazing. Yeah, and it was because I was one of the only people at the time who could speak Japanese in that group of foreigners, mm. and so the director was able to actually give instructions. That's to amazing. Me. Like, who wouldn't want a sponsorship job working with Asimo the robot? Right. Oh Lucky boy. Lucky devil. We are falling behind. Oh lord. Got to stay on the ball with the comments. Yeah. Okay. Why I did this. That was the one. I did this like Asimo. One. Hi, all. Recently, uh, marathon all the videos on all of your channels. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> I have a question for Norm. When are we getting more first time in Japan? I was doing a series of my... I have 18 hours of footage from an old Sony Handycam mm. from my first trip to Japan ever. And I had done a series where I was watching back these old videos of like 19, 18-year-old me wandering around the country with no beard looking like a goofball. Mm. And I've actually moved... I'm going to be moving the rest of that series over to Patreon. I think we did a trilogy on YouTube, and I, I just... Mm. I can't find a way to make it appeal to a wider audience and I mean, keep it going. I mean, I want to do videos on first time visiting Japan. I don't think I've ever done it before, actually. First time visiting to Japan. But the fact that people can't travel here at the moment... Yeah. I'd feel like a bit of a dick being like, <laughs> your first 48 hours in Japan. And, oh, wait, you can't come. So yeah. I feel like I'm, I, I've been holding fire on a lot of my travel-based content until mm. Japan kind of reopens. So hold fire, but I'm going to put out a series on visiting Japan for the first time, the things you can expect. And on that note, any advice on visiting on a budget? Dogen? Visiting on a budget? I don't know, probably just transfer, transfer-wise. <laughs> Actually, maybe. Well, no. <laughs> because you have to have a local bank account in order for that to work. Mm. But I don't know, probably just, you know, typical advice, maybe stay at like hostels rather than hotels, maybe try capsule hotels. Mm. You've done a great video about that. JL Rail Pass. Yeah. I understand the power of uh, beef bowls and how much money they can save you. Yeah, so yeah. Convenience store food. Kia and, and yeah. Go but, to uh, supermarkets. Go to supermarkets usually in the evening around like 7, 8 p.m., and you can get the discounted 50% off, 60% off, 80% off of food. Mm. Uh, and then you can buy, like, your dinner and the next day's breakfast there for a fraction of the cost. I'd so. say, and also, just try and book accommodation ahead of time as mm. far as you can. Because it gets a lot cheaper if you book three months ahead of staying at a hostel or a hotel. So bear that in mind. And um, they're wondering when our album's going to drop. When's our album going to drop? Do you want to rap before I put out some music? I'm, I, Go I, Joey's got the rap. I, Go I do not Johnny's have the rap. It. <laughs> Who would win in an arm wrestling match? I know that Dragon used to pack some serious heat. Um, well, we both used to trick. Yeah. 
but I don't know. We were talking about that last night. Um, that's actually how Dogan and I connect very... We didn't actually really know each other back then, but we both used to be part of the same circle of extreme martial arts, tricking backflips, all of that. All of our earliest videos yeah. were us running up walls and doing backflips off and spinning through parks like little tops. Hannah D says, hello from L.A. Chris, have you read any of the book uh, recommendations from Patreon? Also, y'all should write books. I'd read them. Well, <laughs> just go off again. <laughs> have you read any of the book recommendations from Patreon? Is there a book recommendation section? Is it maybe on your Discord? I've read... I need to go and look through the list again, to be honest, Hannah. <laughs> I've read all the ones that I put on my list, but I still need to go through the list because I did a little Patreon post asking for book recommendations. And we got like 100, I got like 50 recommendations to go through. So I haven't had time, though, unfortunately, with Jenny across Japan on the road around Kyushu. Haven't had time to read or do anything, really. Mm. Um, and so it's been a tough, been a pretty hardcore week. Mm. And this collab is amazing. Just who is that attractive, mysterious gentleman in those broad sunglasses downing all those Tic Tacs? I think, yeah. It's, it's, I think I, it's time to ban any comments about me <laughs> on the Tic Tacs. Hi, Dream Team. Any advice on getting a self-sponsored visa or a sponsored visa for video creation? Um, your best bet on something like that, to be honest, I did a video about a year ago where I talked to a visa lawyer who mentions that you actually can kind of self-sponsor if you've got about $50,000 to invest into starting your own company in Japan. You need the investment money, you need a business plan and all of that, but that is your safest way into getting Japan if you don't have a university degree. You look like you had a, an idea. Um, yeah, well, I know that, I, I can't remember for sure, but Aki Dearest, mm. um, and then Connor, and, as well as Garnt, they both, and Garnt's wife as well, mm. uh, they all came to Japan as YouTubers okay. rather than English teachers. So it's my understanding, based on their situation, that if you have a very, very successful YouTube channel already, or you know some kind of big online presence, yeah. then there might be companies in Japan such as Tokyo Creative or the agency that they're part of that would be willing to sponsor you. Yeah. You have to be able to prove, if that's the case, more often than not, you have to be able to prove a consistent income over a certain level. I haven't looked at it in probably close to a decade. It used to be at least 2.5 grand American per month in order to get sponsored. You have to be able to prove that you can consistently bring that in. It's probably higher now. Probably. And thank you for your videos. I've been going to Japan once a year for the past year due to COVID. I can't. Your videos oh, really man. help fill this void. Glad that, glad that we could do that, really. Been putting a lot into <laughs> it. Uh, I've actually recently started doing live streams where I go out mm. for the sole purpose just of doing live streams. I think your live streams are pretty good. I want to see more Tokyo Lens live streams. But maybe on a separate channel. Yeah, actually. What we, are you going to call it? I. <laughs> what should what should uh, what Norm should I call, call his my live, live that's Actually, that's a really good thing. We've got one thousand three hundred fifteen people here from every corner of the globe. What should we call Tokyo Lenses live stream channel dedicated solely to live streams? Let us know in the comments. We're yeah. going to get out. We're not going to finish this live stream until we get an answer. Yeah, we need a we need a good. We've been talking about it for like the past week or so, trying to figure out. Because I've been doing a lot of live streams to give you a little context where I've actually just been traveling out somewhere for the sole purpose of doing live streams there. But I don't want to do like three, four live streams on the main channel a day. Yeah. I don't want to like bombard everybody. Yeah. So I thought it might be nice to have a separate channel for live streams mm. mm -hmm. solely for that purpose. Going around Japan, yeah. tasting food, seeing places. And you've got the sort of energy for that. I don't think I could do a live stream much. Well, mm. I do like one every month or two on my second channel mm. and uh but like i haven't got the energy to do it every day and i think you do i think i could i got the i've pizzazz. got the tic tacs he's got the pizzazz and the tic tacs video idea like a asimo cyberpunk crossover where natsuki and asimo rescue chris from risotto risotto so that's a great idea Kyle Wilson. Uh, so is this the Dogen Cinematic Universe, Tokyo Lin Cinematic Universe, or Abroad in Japan Cinematic Universe? What's the, what's the answer, Dogen? Well, it's... Uh, 
<laughs> Norm's channel, so I guess it's Norm's new Tokyo Lens Live. <laughs> Tokyo Lens Dragon Cinematic Universe. <sighs> All right, what we got? Behind the Lens. That's a cool Behind name. Behind the Lens. Oh, Tok- yeah, Tokyo Streams. Tokyo Streams. It's actually quite a good idea. Tokyo Streams. Tokyo Live. These are I good. Think, I need I think, to start taking notes on these. I think the these. word live... I think a lot of people don't like the word yeah. live. It has a kind of negative connotation to it. So I think something that's not live. Yeah, behind, behind the lens. The lens. Behind good. the lens. I like behind the lens. Japan behind the Japan behind the lens, maybe. Um, Norm live. I do like Tokyo streams. Talk lens. Talk. Behind Tokyo talk lens. lens. You could call it white guy shocks Japanese. <laughs> Tokyo <laughs> streams. White guy in Japan speaks Japanese. Oh my god, shocking content. Wow. Norm scopes. Ah, oh, there's a uh, there's a lot there's a lot in here. Can could you make a series of you just going around shocking people that you speak Japanese? I feel like it's been done. No, <laughs> all right. I could I could probably pull it off. Bring something new to the table. I just walk up and say Konnichiwa. God, I hate those kind of videos. Nihongo Josie this Um It's eight p.m. here in Canada, Alberta. Alberta. Says Jess, but yes, Jess. But what should we call Take Your Lenses Live Channel, Jess? <laughs> Uh, lens online. Yeah, lens online. Behold the lens. <laughs> the traveling. Currently set. in Japan. Backstreet lens. Tokyo over the fence. Say pinecone says just got here. <laughs> Super happy to see a broad in a pan. What about Dogen? Come on, come on, <laughs> say. What about Dogen? Live binoculars. Live binoculars. Normal lens. Social norm. <laughs> normal channel. Norm abroad. Uh, <laughs> uh, the norm normal abroad. Normal channel. Burning off too People much caffeine. Were super excited about a broaden lens. Explore always. Oh, isn't that your walkie-talkie slogan? No, it's not there. No, the explore always. I had actually thought about explore always as like kind of a, a channel thing. A broaden Dogen. A broaden Dogen. That's <laughs> everything. About Tokyo that. Dragon. Oh, Tokyo um, Dragon. Attack of the Lens. Wandering Lens. Tokyo Live Lens. Uh, walking Lens. We yeah, we're not going to get there. We need something. Okay, Pedro saying, a lens in Japan, very original. Also, Noah Roberts, thank you very much for that. Okay, I think we've got some solid starting points. Mm. So, definitely going to be putting together a separate channel just for live streaming. But, all that being said, in, in all honesty and fairness, there are podcasts that need to be recorded today and adventures that must happen. So I think this would be a fairly decent time to start wrapping this one up. Uh, gents, thanks for being a part of it. Not at all. Our well, pleasure. I think we should end with you rapping. Ready? I've got that one. Everything just went like, oh my god, that's awful. All right, it's, it's very bad. It's going on. A B C D E F T H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z P. Probably best to end the stream so now. Bad. It was time to end the stream before you end I, your I career. I think I just ended the channel. Career <laughs> over. I'm, I'm unsubscribing from Tokyo Lens right now. How do you unsubscribe? Uh, again. Everything is linked down in the description box below. So if you haven't already, check out Abroad in Japan. Check out Dogen. If you're looking to learn Japanese, this is the place to do it. If you're looking to travel vicariously, we got you. And this music is so distracting. Uh, Thank you guys for killing my boredom so many times. Thank you so much for being a part of it. If you are not already, this is an official invitation to be a part of the Patreon crew or join the Explorer always. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with us. Today, uh, any closing words, gents? No, I had a lot of fun. Thanks for uh, hosting us on your channel. You're still up with the music, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right, fake ending. Just like you, this is a thing we actually do on the Tokyo Lens live stream really often. They think it's done, and then it's not done. Oh, really? It cuts <laughs> out, and then we come back, there's no and there's escape. actually a secret ending. I love putting in, you see, we, we ended the stream once, and then we came back just so we could do a proper goodbye. This is, uh, <laughs> see? This is, is how all the Tokyo Lens videos and all the Tokyo Lens stream with fake endings. So, uh, yeah, Dogen and Chris, thank you guys so much for joining the stream. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we will see you again real soon.
Is that the ending? I think that's it. I, you made it sound like there's going to be amazing like ending, no. party poppers, explosions, Do excitement. you see party poppers? I don't. I see disappointment. I see End the stream. Tics. End it now, Dogan. <laughs> Hit the end button. Bye, everyone. Have a good Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever day it is. Chris's birthday is tomorrow. Tomorrow. Just, just spam him on Twitter. So. What day is it? Right now? It is Tuesday the 20th. Have a good Tuesday. Well, it's probably Monday there. Tuesday. It's a good chance. Have a good Tuesday. Have a good week. On a Tuesday. <laughs>